All right, hello everyone, it's Happy, and today we're going to be talking about the FV215B, and of course, this is a tier 10 British heavy tank. I've made a video on this recently, especially after the uh, 9.1 update. However, recently I did try this tank and the Hess shells are actually insane. Like the whole update has been a great thing for this tank because it got its DPM bank and it still has one of the best heavy tank guns in the whole game. But on top of that, it got has shells this means you're going to be able to smack people for 500 plus very very easily and this means your dpm is going through the roof with a very quick reload time and has shells this tank is going to dominate a lot of tanks especially if the enemy players are not super duper experienced you're going to be smacking them left and right because you can penetrate a lot of tanks mediums lights tds and heavies even in the face most tanks have a weak spot for example the lower plate on a few heavies and the medium straight in the face anything to the side pretty much will be able to uh, you know take in a hash shell from you so even though this is technically not a real hash shell you can treat it as such because the penetration values for he are so high on top of that of course you get some decent mobility and some good consumables with it so the the gameplay on this thing is not so boring after all. You still get very good AP and APCR shells, which are again very, very good. And they're going to penetrate through a lot of things. And of course, AP in general is going to be good against uh, more or less heavily armored tanks. So you can punch straight through them as well. The mobility, as I said, is pretty good, but at the same time, it is mediocre. So it's, it's somewhere in between. So it's an average tank in regards to mobility. But then you have armor, and then this is where the tank doesn't really uh, make you feel so good. That's because the hull armor is quite bad. You're going to get penetrated into the side. You cannot side scrape in this thing at all. The turret is probably okay, but at the same time, people can smack right through you into the hatch. And the lower plate on this thing just leaves you to, to, to cry in the corner. So even though this thing does have one of the best guns in tier 10 in regards to the heavy tanks, the mobility and armor are lacking. And so if you're not that good of a player, I suggest staying away from this tank, especially because the whole tech tree on this thing is not so great. I mean, you have a lot of boring tanks in this tech tree and you really will have a bad time uh, unless you're a pretty good player and you know how to take in good positions and actually save up your HP and use as little armor as possible. But apart from that, this tank is pretty solid and I definitely give it an 8 out of 10. So tell me what you guys think about this tank in the comment section below. And with that, happy is out and I'll definitely see you guys next time. Bye bye.